We've now learned how to form organohalides through radical reactions. So now we're going to look at how organohalides react, and that's primarily through substitution and elimination reactions. So we're going to start by talking about substitution reactions, and then we'll talk about elimination reactions. So substitution reactions occur through two different mechanisms. The first is an SN2, the second is an SN1. We're going to look at the SN2 reaction first. SN2 stands for substitution nucleophilic bimolecular. So we're going to be using a nucleophile to do the substitution reaction. The bimolecular means that there's two molecules involved in the rate determining step. And we're going to look at a simple SN2 reaction here in a second, but I'll go ahead and tell you what the rate is. So the rate for a reaction is the rate constant times the concentration of the reactants involved in that step. So here we have the organohalide and the nucleophile. Those are our two components. And the thing is, if you increase the concentration of either of these, you'll increase the rate of the reaction. So that means if you double the concentration of nucleophile, then you'll double the rate of the reaction. So bimolecular means two things involved here. So let's look at just a simple SN2 reaction. So the basics is really pretty familiar to you. You're going to take your nucleophile, attack a carbon containing a halogen as a leaving group, and that leaving group will leave. So the two steps here are nucleophilic attack and loss of a leaving group. And then the product of the reaction, we have the nucleophile bonded to the R and X minus as a leaving group that left. So if we write this as, instead of just abbreviations, a real reaction, maybe our nucleophile could be a terminal alkyne, a satellite ion. And maybe our organohalide is methyl bromide. Well, guess what? This is a reaction you already learned. Alkylation. The alkynes are nucleophile. The carbon is our organohalide with the bromine acting as a leaving group. And then our product, we alkylate that alkyne plus Br minus. So without even knowing it, you've already learned an SN2 reaction.